solving algebraic expressions with some terms as fractions and some as not. So I think the easiest thing to do here is to bring the 4 across and it becomes a minus 4. And then we get 2 thirds of x is equal to 7 minus 4. Now when you see 2 thirds of x, the x is attached to the 2 on top. So it's 2x over 3 is equal to 3 when you simplify 7 minus 4. And then you just have to cross multiply here. So that's 3 over 1. So 3 by 3 is 9. And then you'll divide the 2 underneath to give it 9 over 2. Now that works nicely if you have one fraction and the others are whole numbers. There's another way of doing it. And this will work for algebraic fractions also with different denominators. So it works like this. So because we have different denominators here on the left hand side, what I'm going to do is get a common denominator. So I have 2 over 3x plus 4 over 1. The common denominator is 3. So 4 over 1 is the same as 12 over 3. And then what I can do is get a common, I can draw these over a single denominator. So it'll be 2x plus 12 all over 3. That's equal to 7 over 1. And now when it's in that form, we can cross multiply. So the 3 will multiply by the 7. The 1 will multiply by that. Which gives us the next step there. Look, 1 by that, 3 by that. When you multiply 1 by all of that, you get the same thing. 7 by 3 is 21. And now we have to solve using our bird mass backwards steps. Bring the 12 over, it becomes minus 12. 21 minus 12 is 9. If 2x equals 9, when I bring the 2 over, it does the opposite. It goes under, so we get 9 divided by 2. Again, this method of getting a common denominator, the same common denominator on one side, is very useful if they have different denominators there. And the second thing to remember is if the x looks like it's in the middle, it's actually attached to the top of that fraction.